Hello and welcome to my new tutorial series for the Unreal Engine 5 I plan to do on my channel. Uh, just a short explanation what's going on in my channel because um, mainly I do stuff here in German. My main language is German so my the most of my stuff here is German. There are a few timeless videos with just music but I get many many questions about my tutorials I did before on here on my the comments under the videos or on other social media so I thought it would be a good idea uh, to just translate my tutorials to English and um, yeah, maybe I can help the people <laughs> with those. I try my best. Um, I'm not used to speak English so um, yeah, keep that please in mind. So um, when I do mistakes pronouncing something wrong or um, yeah, just sounds funny, you can leave a comment and um, I can learn. So we both can learn. I show you how to do Unreal and you um, help me with my English. I guess it's a good deal, though. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's start. How the fuck do you get the Unreal Engine 5 or every other Unreal Engine version you want to use? Um, I focus here, as I said, on the 5. It's the newest version. It's the first official Unreal Engine 5 version. So if you maybe watch this video later, a few things can change in yeah, the tutorials. But um, just check the description which engine I use, which version of the engine I use. And they are pretty quick in updating the engine. So maybe a few things can change here and there. The main thing is the same. Many of my tutorials can be used for the Unreal Engine 4 as well. But there will be a few little difference, especially in the UE of the yeah the engine itself. But the main thing, the basic things are pretty similar. Okay, uh, let's start. Unreal, so, engine Unreal Engine is made by Epic Games. So the first thing we have to do is go to their homepage. It's in the description down below. Make an account if you don't have any. If you have one, just log in. And we have to download the launcher. You get it here. Just download it, set it up, and we are good to go. Okay, so we have downloaded and installed the launcher. It's here. I have it on my desktop. Just open it. So, okay. This here is the Epic Game Launcher. Here is a store where you can buy games. Um, and the thing is, if you have the Epic Launcher, they are always giving away free games. So, check them out. <laughs> Maybe you find something you like. Um, a library where you store your bad games. And here is the thing we want to have at the moment is the Unreal Engine. Just click it. Yeah, we get a new world related to the Unreal Engine. Here are some news. Here are some examples where you can find some example scenes. Maybe you find something funny. Just try it out. We have a marketplace just for engine related stuff. You will find assets, meshes, materials, plugins. I will show you in a later tutorial how you implement these things into your engine later. Yeah. So here's the library where all your engine stuff is assembled. Yours will be empty. Here are the engine versions you have on your PC and all your projects you have on your PC. And here is the stuff you get from the marketplace. This one is related to your Epic Games account. Also it's saved there in the cloud. These are related to your PC. So if you want to uh, go to a different PC and use one of those, you have to get it on there. Install the version on the other PC and the projects, you can uh, transfer them via um, Google Drive or via a USB port. But uh, they are related to your PC, not to the account. So to get a new version, just go and click plus. You get a gray box where you can select the versions you want. I already have the early access and the Unreal Engine 5, so I can uh, choose them twice. So um, just choose the engine you want, then install and wait until it's installed. If you don't want to always open the Epic Launcher to start your engine, you can make a link. Make a link to your desktop, uh, like I did. I have here a little link to the engine version. So, But if you do this, keep in mind, Epic is pretty fast when it goes to update, so always check the launcher. So once a month, twice a month, just check is there a new update. It will tell you. It will say uh, update, or if you have a plugin who's an up who has an update, it also will tell you here there's an update. You want to update? Yes, no. So you can choose. So um, 
Keep in mind, check those sometimes to get the newest version. If you don't want the newest version, you don't have to check, but there's no harm in getting the newest version. So, okay. You can start it from here, as I said, but we won't do that. We close it. If you start the engine from the launcher, keep in mind to close the launcher after it started. The launcher will always work in the background, so you don't get the full work from your PC. I use my little link I make. We have to be a little patient with the Unreal Engine to start it the first time or to start it in general will take a little bit of time. So, okay. Unreal Project Browser is open now. You can choose a project you already have on your PC. Uh, if you don't find a particular project on your PC, uh, that could be because um, Unreal just open C or D. So if you have a few projects on your C drive, it won't find the things on the D drive or same in reverse. Just click Browse and you can uh, check yourself where the project is. Um, just keep in mind to sort things a little bit to find it quicker. So and then go to the U project file and open it from there. So and you get the projects they are not in the browser. So don't panic when you don't find the project you have. It's sometimes just Unreal don't find it because they are on another <laughs> driver. But probably you don't have anything at the moment. We want to make the first one or a new one and we can choose from a few different layouts, a game, something for film, something for architecture and something with vehicles. In the end, the engine itself is the same, just the content you get in the start will be changing depending on what you choose. We will here focus more on games. I'm a games artist, so we go to games. So in here we can choose if we want to have a template, we want to make a first person game, a third person game, a top down, we get a few different start things depending on which one we choose. We go with third person because for some tutorials I need the mannequin, it's in the third person or in the top down, so I choose this. You can choose whatever you want, what's your plan. You can do blank, but um, don't choose blank for start. I mean, you get free stuff, use something you want. <laughs> I mean, third person or first person is a good thing to start. You get many things and uh, many things working from the start. So why don't use them? So a few things. We uh, use blueprints. If you're not a programmer, if you don't have any clue about C++, choose blueprints. Even if you don't know what blueprints are, doesn't matter. Don't use C++ if you don't have any clue what that is, how you do it. You can select a target platform if you want to do something for desktop, so for laptop, PC and something, or for mobile. We choose desktop, it's easier. If you really want to use mobile, keep in mind, if you want to export the Excel file, the game file, you have to install an SDK. We don't need it for the desktop. So uh, We can choose a quality preset. If you really have a shitty PC or you don't trust your PC to handle Unreal well, you can use Scalable at first. It doesn't matter that much. You can choose the settings later in the engine as well. So we want to have the starter content, more free stuff for us to use in the engine or for our first product. There are a few walls, a few furniture, some materials you can use in the engine for free from starter content. So, okay, and we also get an option for ray tracing. But a ray tracing is pretty hard on your PC. Just enable it when you have a good PC with a good graphics card. It, you make it hard for yourself if you check it on and your PC can handle ray tracing. So next thing, choose a name. We choose test ground YouTube. Can I, I can't, <laughs> I can't write. Okay, ground, ground. Okay, yeah. one more thing you will learn quick in Unreal is Unreal can't handle the spacebar pretty well, so you have to be a little creative in your naming. I prefer to use um, this version of writing, just capitalize the first letter of a word and just make a giant word like this. So, okay, um, everything is done here. 
we are create and we have to wait until Unreal is finished to open our first project. So finally, our first project is open now. Before this video ends, I will show you how you can move around these things we have in your viewport and how to get the data content in the scene itself. In the next video, I will show you how you can get new assets for your engine without making them yourself. There are a few options you can use because you have the Unreal Engine and you have an Epic account. But that's for the next video. So leave a like, subscribe and uh, yeah, wait for more. To move, just press the left mouse button so you can look left and right. Go for or back. Uh, if you press the right button, you have more control over the camera itself in which direction you want to look. With the normal um, moving tools, W, A, S, D, you can move around. That's the normal keys you use in the most games. So it's pretty easy to figure out how to yeah, move in the engine. To go up, press E. To go down, press Q. And yeah, so you move the camera around. If you select something, you can press F to zoom in or to focus. To move something around, you have to select it. You get a pivot. If you don't have a pivot like this, it's just selecting. Press W, you get the moving pivot and you can move it. For the orientation of the pivot, you have two options. This one is orientated on the mesh itself or you can choose on the world. So it focuses on the world settings. Depending on what you need, just choose the one you need at the moment. But you can do more than just move a thing. You can also rotate it. Press E, you get the rotation tool. Same here, rotate it in all the ways you want. Rotate it on the world, rotate it on the object. And you can scale it. Press R to get the scale tool. You can scale the whole mesh or just one axis. That's the only one where you can't choose the world position, just the object position for orientation. You All the things you do with those tools, you can do in the transform. So if you change something here, it changes the object itself. So if you want to play something in your engine, you have many ways to do it. You have uh, add to project. You can um, open and place actor panels. You get a whole panel where it's easier to see what's in there. We go to shapes and we want more cubes. Way more cubes. Just drag and drop them in. You can drag and drop the sphere or cylinder. Drag and drop everything in. Maybe a light. Have fun with lights. And for everything you have in engines, you get a, a details panel where you can change a few things. For normal meshes, the Main thing is just the transforms. For light, you get more options like the color or the intensity. You can play around with those things. Just experiment a little and figure them things out. If you don't know what things do, just hover with the mouse over it and you get a little explanation or just play around and figure it out. It's always an option. This all are the base stuff the engine itself has in it. If you want to put something like the static content we got from the start, uh, we have to go to the content drawer, also we close this. Here's the content drawer. Um, I prefer to lock the layer, also delock the layer so I get a new window. It's easier for me to work. You can keep the down there like you prefer to work. And we go to the starter content and we go to props. Hey, get it. And there are a few things you get. Yeah, it's a rock. Uh, maybe some pushes, plenty of things, just drag and drop them in. And they are also movable like all the other stuffs. So you can have a little fun, experiment a little. With the starter content, you get plenty of assets where you can practice working in the engine and uh, have a little fun. There are some particles and then here. Just drag and drop them all in and make something funny. And the best thing is after having fun and creating whole scenes, whole videos or something, 
you can also play it. Just uh, press play and depends on which uh, thing you choose at the start, you get in this, yeah, in this example, you get a third person character and you can move around in your scene and have a little fun explaining it in yeah, that direction. So, and in the next tutorials, I will show you how to add more fun stuff to your scene, how to um, maybe make some things for a game and maybe you make a game, you make something fun, make a fun video, make a nice music video. Just have fun in Unreal. And I hope I could help you with your first questions. If you have some particular questions and if you want to have more Unreal related stuff, more tutorials, uh, just subscribe, leave me a like and we see how it goes and how far we can get and how, how much fun we have with uh, yeah, making silly stuff in Unreal. <laughs> so then. Thanks for watching and goodbye.